Hi, welcome to Now Testing Products. So in some of my previous videos, I talked just a little bit about lighting. Today I decided I was going to do a complete review on having proper lighting. Now, over the next few months, I'm going to test a lot of different types of lighting and different types of light bulbs to show you guys what kind of lighting is actually the proper type of lighting that you want to use. If you do a lot of you streaming, live streaming, or YouTube videos, you're going to want to have adequate lighting. Now, you can go out and spend a lot of money on having a whole bunch of professional lighting and of course you will look professional and your videos will look great, but you really don't have to. You could go out and spend just a little bit of money and today I went out and I picked up four of these Ot Light Grow Bulbs. Now, they use these for growing plants and it's the type of lighting that you actually want to use for your videos. And what they call it is they call it a daylight temperature bulb. Now, some people go with just a 50 watt bulb, but I went with four 20 watt bulbs, which usually will replace a standard 75 watt old type of light bulb in your house. The reason why I went with four of them is that you want to spread your lighting out around where you're videoing behind so that you get lighting that wrap around. It also gets rid of a lot of shadowing like you can see I did some shadowing here because I only got a couple lights right now shining on me and they are only 13 watt CFL light bulbs. They're the old kind too so you can see it's kind of giving an orangey haze to my video as I have had in most of my videos. Now I'm going to do this video in four segments showing you how this lighting responds as right now I'm not using this light bulb. I'm just using a 13 watt CFL light bulb right now. I have a little bit of outside light coming in. Now I'm going to do a review using this light bulb in four segments. Right now this is segment one. There will be segment two here in a second showing you these light bulbs with a little bit of light coming in. I'm also going to do a segment later on adding it to this video with no light coming in at all using the standard 13 watt CFL light bulb that I'm currently using and then again I'm going to show you guys with no light coming in in the background with the 20 watt grow light bulb. So it gives you an idea on what type of lighting you might want to look at. I picked these up for about $10 at my local hardware store, so they're not really expensive in comparison to professional lighting. There's a couple other tricks that you can do to help this type of lighting really light up your video, which I'll show you in future videos that I'll be doing on lighting. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos in the next little while on different types of lightings. I got a couple projects coming up too that I want to show you guys inexpensive ways to make your lighting brighter with using this light bulb. So stay tuned for those videos. But for now we're just going to do a review on this light bulb. They claim this light bulb will last for approximately seven years with an average of about three hours a day of use. Now if you're just going to be using this light bulb for videos, you're not going to spend three hours a day doing videos. So you will get a lot of life out of this bulb. And like I said, I did pick this up for about nine to ten dollars so it is relatively cheap i'm going to be putting four of them in lighting in behind the camera that i have videoing me right now showing you guys how this lighting actually responds to the video so this is segment one stay tuned for three more segments i'm going to go ahead i'm going to install this lighting right now and i'll be right back to show you what it looks like so now we've installed our ot light grow light bulbs and you can see the difference from the video that I recorded just a few seconds ago with the 13 watt standard CFL light bulbs. It's quite a difference. I am running four of these and you can clearly see the color change went from an orangey color to a nice bright white clear color. Now in the future I will be doing all my videos with this type of lighting and I do recommend this lighting. It is a good quality lighting for any type of YouTube videos you may be making or if you are an avid Ustreamer and you do a lot of live broadcasting, I do recommend a lot of natural light and it makes your video quality so much better. 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, like I said, a time lapse. We're going to wait for it to get dark so that I can show you the natural lighting with no background lighting at all, just a dark room just using this light. So let's go ahead and let's pause this, let's do the time lapse and let's show you the product under different types of lighting. Hi and welcome back to Now Testing Products. So now we're on to segment three of the Ott light test. Now I've removed all of these light bulbs from my lights that I have around the studio here and it is pitch dark outside so we're not getting any natural light inside the windows here whatsoever. Now I'm running one 13 watt CFL light bulb. Now this is probably the standard light bulb that most people use in their home or home office and most people are using this type of light bulb to record YouTube videos or even stream live on Ustream. Now you'll find if you're using this type of lighting, which you'll notice is kind of an orangey lighting, it's very dim, not very clear, you're going to find most of your viewers are going to stray away from your videos because at the end of the day, a good quality clear video is what keeps your viewers' attention. A video like this and this type of lighting, well, you might get some viewers, but you're going to find most of them are just going to stray away from your video because it's just not very clear. So just to give you an idea on poor lighting quality, this I would probably classify as poor lighting. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do segment four now, the final segment. We're going to go back and we're going to put all these lights back in to the studio lighting that I have here. And we're going to test them with no outside natural lighting coming in the windows whatsoever. And you'll see that basically they're just as bright as they were earlier on that we tested because they hold the same kind of quality in natural lighting as the natural lighting that was coming in from outside. So it just goes to show you that you'll be able to film with these type of light bulbs, whether it's daytime or nighttime, and still get the good quality video that you want out of something like this. So let's go ahead and let's pause this and let's change out the light bulbs and show you exactly what good quality lighting gives you in your video. Hi and welcome back to Now Testing Products final segment of the Ott Light Grow Light Bulb Test. Now as you saw in segment three just a second ago the lighting was really dim and kind of orangey well, that was because we had no outside natural light whatsoever. Well, right now, we also have no natural outside light whatsoever here in the studio. It is completely dark outside. As you can see, the quality in the video right now, I'd give the quality probably a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because, well, I don't have professional studio lighting in here. I basically have four $10 20 watt CFL light bulbs in the lighting around the studio here. I'm going to have to give this product itself a 9.5 out of 10 as I really like the product. Its price point being between 9 and $10 is quite reasonable for a light bulb of this quality. If you got any other questions about this product, you'd like to talk to me about different types of lighting, that you're looking at getting into to do YouTube videos or stream live, send me an email to nowtestingproducts at gmail.com. You can also find me on Google Plus now. I have a Google Plus account, Steve on your side. I'm still on Facebook, same place, Steve on your side. And I'm always tweeting about what's coming up next at Testing Products. So stay tuned for more product reviews and thanks for watching.